Hey guys, still there, and welcome back to Avorian, where, after our last episode, we have now a, uh, well, a fairly sizable capital of 18.1 million. The complete hole from the previous piracy engagement was about, I think, 17.5, and it still had a bit in change. So, it was very, very successful, and now with that 18 million, I want to start making some more money. A couple of ways to go about that. You can go trading, which would require a, a trading software, which I don't have access to. Um, I would actually like to go the way of mining. And by that, I don't mean the actual resource mining, but setting up my own mine. I have also sent the, um, what's it called, the Roadster over here. And I'm hoping very much to find a particular piece of upgrade. And the upgrade that I'm really looking for is the trading software to figure out which particular resource is the rarest at the moment. So the Roadster is making its way there. I currently have highlighted the equipment docks and I have one here and another one there. The equipment dock where I currently am, unfortunately doesn't really sell anything like that. So I'm gonna have to visit a couple of equipment docks in order to find out and uh, do a bit of market research to figure out which of the resources is most beneficial to start getting. So let's switch over. The um, upgrade that I'm looking for, they tend to be a bit rare. They're not always on sale and that makes them, well, oh here actually. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Prices of goods, yes. Price deviations, yes. Trade route detection, yes. An economy overview, no. Uh, this is fine. It shows prices of all station in the current sector. So where is that equipment dock? And more importantly, do I have a room, do I have a slot here? Yeah, I can temporarily install it in place of the uh, object detector for my roadster. A roadster which has uh, on uh, more than one occasion already been uh, repaired. Because while it is fast, it is not particularly heavily shielded. So mobility is its, well, its biggest defense, really. Uh, <laughs> maneuverability is not. It's just the speed. It's very, very good at going in one direction very quickly. Uh, slowing down. That's something that needs a bit of work. Now let's go into the dock. Trade the equipment and get that upgrade. Then I'm going to swap that into this slot. Uh, that was this one. And now that gives me this button over here. So if I hold shift, I can move the cursor over there and open the trading overview. This is a trade route that has been detected, which means that I can get uh, cocoa for 62 and I can sell it for 71. Now let's see how much the trading post wants. Uh, they have... Oh, sell to station. Hold on. Why is it not there? Oh, it's oxygen. I'm looking for the wrong part. I thought I was going to sell cocoa, but it's no, it's oxygen. So, trading post. How much do they sell, or how much do they buy oxygen for? Uh, they buy for 71, as indicated, but they can actually get quite a bit. Let's say I ship 4,000. At a price change of 9. Yeah, that's 36,000. Or sorry, it's not even 9. Uh, no, it is 9. So yeah, it's 36,000. It's really not worth it. But what I am more interested in in the trading overview is sell to stations. To see what they need. Now, aluminum is very interesting. Because the shipyard buys that stuff. And if I'm not mistaken, that means that the shipyard... It's one of those end users, uh, which means that they actually destroy the product. That sounds a bit worse than it actually is, because it means that they will always have some supply or some demand for it. So aluminum is actually quite interesting to go for. What else? And I'm looking actually uh, at the price change here. Fertilizer is really quite popular, but it's only going to get bought by the cocoa farm. Metal plates, these always do quite well. And they have a pretty damn high price difference here. 29% more than what they normally are. And they need a lot of them. So let's say that I fulfill that whole demand. By the time that um, I'm at 2300, the repair dock will have already used quite a bit of that. What else? Uh, water. 
Uh, water is being used by the two cocoa farms here. Medical supplies, anti-graphs. Yeah, that's way too expensive to build. You can make a ton of money with anti-graphs. Because they need, let's say, 3,800 of those at a price of 87,000 a pop. So that is very lucrative. Or at least, let's say there's a lot of money to be made there if you can get the parts that you need for the anti-graphs at uh, a decent rate. Fusion cores, nanobots, solar cells. I have this set to uh, uh, descending, so the prices are going to get increasingly low, which is fine. Steel is another part that they need quite a bit of. Okay. Ammunition, turbines, more metal plates. Ah, so see the metal plates? They're being requested by both the shipyard at 12% markup and by the repair dock at a 29% markup. So metal plates is actually something that's really interesting to go for. Now, what else? What, for, what sort of hardware do they want? Or, well, not so much hardware. What sort of resources that I can build from a mine? Because I only saw aluminum. Uh, here's the gold. It's doing a bit less, but they do have a lot that they want. Um, there's the aluminum. Minus 7% for the shipyard, but again, they need 14,000 of that stuff. Silver is not really popular here. And keep in mind, I'm just checking the sector that I'm currently in. But it is their main sector. It does have a lot in it. So, let's go and talk to the shipyard. I'm going to build a ship. I'm going to order a standard ship. And I want this to be a station founder. This is going to be a metal plates uh, ship. And I don't really care what it looks like. Because I'm going to strip this thing down to the bare bones. And once it's down to the bare bones, I'll turn it into a station. So station founder is on. I don't need any crew. Just build. It's going to be done in about five minutes. In those five minutes, it is my intent to uh, continue on with the scouting mission. Because I also want to find a good location for a mine. Let's see. I have scanned most of these sectors already. There's just a load of asteroids. But potentially nothing really mineable. There's an unknown energy signature there. I do have a radar. It's only a deep range scan of three. Don't I have any better one? No, this is just a, an object detector. No, these ones really aren't what I'm looking for. So let's just continue to scout. Fortunately, the jump drive recharges really, really quickly here. Uh, is there anything of interest? Yes. Unknown hidden mass signatures. The mine that I'm going for is the aluminum mine. Because that is one that has uh, a pretty decent demand, I think. Also, by the way, I want to see what all these solar power plants need. Because there's a load of them, and they all have the same resource. So first, travel here. Uh, scan potential asteroids, claim them, don't sell them off, and then jump over to the other sector. Okay, valuable objects have been detected, but where? Here. There we go, this is what I'm looking for. Claimable asteroid. Make sure not to slam into that thing. Okay, I don't have to use my main engine. I was looking over my shoulder there to see if I actually had to slam on the brakes, but it's fine. Aluminum mines are pretty expensive to build, that is. I think you need, what, 12 million for that? Claim. Found a mine. Aluminum mine, 12 million. Ah, worth it. Let's go build it. Uh, please specify a name. Well, how about aluminum mine? Uh, aluminum mine. All right, and now it's an actual factory. That's the first of my factories. Let's get a bit of range, because what's going to happen over here, and there you can already see it, it's going to start pushing stuff away from it. This is so that cargo ships can actually reach the mine, 
And I would rather not have one of those things be pushed into my ship. But at about 3.5 kilometer range, I should be fine. Enter the ship. And now I can build stuff on top of this asteroid. What I'm going to need is cargo space. And I can just build this up out of iron. I don't really use that for anything else. So let's make this a bit wider. <clears throat> and give it a good solid basis that can store a lot of... Yeah, there we go. 21,000. 21,000 cargo space. So I can now store a whole bunch. As I have learned, and you can actually see this happening in the, um, the tutorial for the mines. What happened is that the mine can get attacked. So I will install a shield generator to make sure that it can at least take a hit. Uh, that's 218,000 shields. Next, we're going to need a generator. Uh, this is enough power, I hope. Yeah, that's definitely enough power. Uh, 43,000 out of 32,000. Maybe I can go one smaller. No, that's 21. Maybe I can just do half. Or stash it into here. Yeah, decent. 39. Uh, generated 32 required. Next up, crew space. Crew space is going to be uh, just a bit of crew quarters over here. I'm going to make this thing just a bit neater, but I probably won't visit this mine, well, ever, pretty much. So I'm not going to pay too much attention to how it looks. Because I just don't care about it that much. It is just a mine. It is not there to, to, to win any beauty contests or anything. So let's pack it up. Uh, maybe use this one instead. Spin that around. Make that a bit taller. Like that. Oh, hold on. Mm, I think I might need to do this manually. Hmm. Never mind. Oh, right. It's two layers. The Neonite Gen is a separate layer. Alright, let's pack this thing up. Over here. Come on. It's not quite at the right angle, I think. One there. One rotate three times, and here. And this bit, hmm. I don't really care about that bit. Oh, very much. Spin that. Make that significantly smaller. Done, and, oh, that's a bit big. Here, done. All right, so that's all the cargo storage. That is also my uh, requirement for cargo energy shielding. All done. Next up, blank hull. And the blank hull over here is going to have the docking bay. Or, well, docking bays, rather. So one here. Ideally, I'd be able to mirror that. Uh, that's the focus block. Then set up the mirror mode. Let's go for 2 by 2 by 2. 0.75. Ah, come on. There. 2 by 2 by 37. And then a couple of docks. Hmm, that's not quite what I had in mind. Spin. Like that. Now I can copy these. Both. 
And then... I'm not sure if I can have two of them here. Maybe. These docks are probably too close together. So yeah, let's just have the one. One over there. And this is pretty much all I need. The last remnant is going to be a uh, control tower. So, <clears throat> just this. And then a crew quarters right on top of it. Let's set this to snap in the middle. There. Now I can house 287 crew, which is a bit much. <laughs> it's way more than I need. But still, might as well use this later out as a, a sort of base. <clears throat> Somebody was saying you need a home base. Um, I don't actually agree with that. Because I don't really see the purpose for a home base. The thing with a home base is it's... Well, I'm always going to be moving around anyway. So it's not like I'm going to actually visit this place a lot. Uh, it'll be there mostly as potentially a place where I can build fighters. Uh, where I can start cloning crew members if I need them. Maybe train boarders for future operations. But beyond those two several tasks. I don't really see any particular purpose for having a home base. Uh, what I do need to do is hire some crew. And let's see what sort of crew do we need. Or rather, how many? 55 engineers? That's uh, fairly steep. I cannot even get that many engineers. Uh, mechanics as well. Let's just get a whole bunch of standard crew and let them sort it out. No, I need a few more engineers. No, that's not engineers though. Yeah, it is engineers. The other one's mechanics. That's the mechanics. Alright, now I have too many crew members. Uh, I am sorry, but I don't need you. Now I'm full. Done. That's 80 crew members at the work. And I am paying how much for the crew? Uh, 11,500 in another three hours, so it's fine. Already, I am gaining aluminum. And this is going to be stored in the cargo bay. So already I have 100 in there. I could even upgrade this further, but that's a flat 4 million, and I have 4 million. So it's a bit much. I would rather get back on the roadster and use the roadster to potentially claim another asteroid. If there is one, that is. Maybe look for the other valuable item that's still hiding somewhere in this sector. And then probably go on another piracy raid. Because it is just too good of a way to make money. The mine that I have now set up is more for passive income. And I still need a bit more money to actually build my metal... Uh, what was it? Metal plates, I think. Metal plates farm. Factory, not farm. Oh, bingo. Right there. Can't quite highlight it. Now, how rich of an asteroid is this? What can we find in here? 274,000 day a night. That is really quite nice. Uh, Neonite is not an ideal resource, but it, of course, does help. Here we go, a secret stash. Maybe another good upgrade in there. Potentially a bit of cash. There's, well, there's always cash. Open. 153,000, and I found a double R mining turret, which mines Trinium. And with that, also Neonite. No, not Neonite, Zanian. So that's quite a good turret. All right, uh, this is now my sector, controlled by me. Let's see what else is out here. And this is, by the way, uh, this happens because I take control of the sector due to having the only station in this sector. All right, oh, a wreckage. What do we have here? This could be very interesting to salvage. 46,000 trinium. Uh, I'm running a bit low on trinium. 
Where are my salvaging ships? You guys are not doing a whole lot, are you? The vulture is just standing still. And same goes for the venture. Huh. Uh, vulture. Oh, right. I was in conflict in the last episode. And I told the venture to immediately... No, the vulture to immediately stop any activity. Because what it was doing was uh, running out of salvaging license. And I really didn't want to wreck my reputation with these guys. Come on. Refine the ores. Once you're done with that, I want you to travel here. Start salvaging. And go the same way back. And loop it. This is quite a nice find. Lots and lots of trinium. Alright. Another one here. Uh, this is a cruiser from the Mayo? Who are those guys? Oh, there's a smuggler hideout. Right. Now, I don't have the detector anymore. Yeah, there is a valuable object here somewhere. And a wormhole. The wormhole seems to lead away from the center of the galaxy. Where's that hideout? Oh, over there. Right. Now, in another save game of mine, I have tried the hideout. I've built my own smuggler's post. And I was, well, not terribly impressed with it. Sure enough, you get a lower rate when you're trying to get your stuff unbranded, as I did at the end of the previous episode. But aside from that benefit, I haven't found any benefits. So what it normally uh, does, I believe, as a trading post, or will sort of act as a trading post, uh, this one doesn't. It's just a smuggler hideout. Generator upgrade, plasma turrets, and another 152,000. And there is supposedly another valuable thing here. But where? This looks like another rich trinium asteroid. Oh, by the way, I need to put the venture to work. Hey, venture. Uh, I'm gonna have to. De yeah, I'm gonna need you to jump a couple times. Travel here, travel there. I think this. This or this is where we find one of those very valuable asteroids. Yeah, let's go over here and mine that trinium. I'm just going to have to wait for the ship to get here. And then I can start queuing orders again. And making sure that those actually keep looping. Because if I do that now, it's just going to continue to jump to all those sectors which are just, well, waypoints at this stage. Alright, so this asteroid field doesn't have anything in it. I mean, beyond that very rich trinium uh, spot. Since I'm not seeing any big asteroids, I'm thinking it's a secret stash. But where? Not here, although there, there is a bit more trinium here. Ideally, I'd be mining Zanian, uh, or Zanian, I want to pronounce that. Because that is the best resource that I can currently get access to. Oh, I'm looking for an object which just isn't there. Tch. Wonderful, that was a waste of time. Alright, let's take out the provinces again. Uh, where did I park her? Let's venture. Here's the provinces. Now we're going to go back on raiding expeditions. Alright. I don't have too much money to spend on better upgrades for weaponry. I mean, sure enough, I would like it. But I want to save those the 4.3 million that I currently have. To make sure that I can actually get enough stuff. To, or enough money, rather, to get my... Uh, what's it called? Uh, my metal factory. Where did I order that ship? 
This one is a builder. I don't think the ship's ready yet. But sure enough, it's been more than five minutes, so the ship should be ready. Not seeing it, though. Look at this, though. The mine has already mined 670 aluminum. It's only a matter of time before one of the uh, NPC traders jumps in. Checks it out and says, yep, I'll take some of that. And then jumps off with all the aluminum and leaving me with a pile of cash. And that's actually a decent way to make some money. Looks like I found a transporter software courtesy of the Vulture. Any good weapons here? Triple rail gun. Nah, most of my turrets do a lot more damage than that. 1300, 600, 600, 475, 358. As for turret slots, I don't have any. Um, when can I install the next upgrade? At 31,000 processing power. And I'm currently at 2545. So that's a note. As for fighters... Cannon fighters, but I cannot buy those because I don't have an excellent reputation. Launcher fighters. Oh, they do fire seeker missiles. Oh, that's actually quite interesting. Because a seeker missile is one that gets fired by the fighter and then attracts the target, whatever it go, where, well, wherever it goes and whatever it does. Uh, their speed, however, is dreadful at 210. The other launcher fighter. It's not a seeker missile, this one. That makes it a lot less interesting. Sure enough, it's a it's a bunch faster. It's 571, but it's not good enough. No, it's time to go raiding again. Here's that smuggler outpost. Smuggler hideout. Uh, I don't need to be scanning for equipment docks again. Let's just make a couple of jumps. And go get some money. Let's see. This is where, well, some of the enemies are. Uh, and this could be a very interesting sector to raid. Shipyards, turret factories, computer components, conductors. That's where we're going. Well, in two minutes, that is. Anything sold by the dock? Or sorry, by the mine? No, not yet. Now, somebody said, um, for a carrier, you're not doing a lot of fighting with your fighters. True. I don't use these probably nearly as much as I should. Um, I'm always a bit careful with my fighters because they tend to get destroyed so easily. And because they get destroyed so easily, I'm going to have to replace them. And every unit that I replace is going to cost me 13,000 trinium, which is really quite expensive. So overall, yes, I don't use my fighters a lot, and the reason is they're expensive to replace. Vulture is getting some scrap trinium. Uh, Venture is idle. Let's switch over to the Venture. All right, Venture. What sort of... Hold on. I switched to the Vulture, not the Venture. Different ship, different crafts, here. Okay, let's try again. What sort of turrets are you sporting? Double Neonite? It's a bit older. We got the Neonite R mining turret, another double, and a double titanium. Oh, it's pretty outdated. Let's go for the Trinium R mining turret. So I'll take this one off, and then I hope I'll have enough slots. Oh, I have plenty of slots. Double trinium. Uh, must be built on trinium or better. Yes, of course. Trinium. Mirror mode on. Oh, hold on. Wrong part. Upgrade some more of these parts. This one, that one. Oops.
I'm copying the wrong block. This is the one that I should be copying. There. That one and that one and that one. Just make the whole nose out of trinium. Uh, that one. Whoops. Here. Done. Okay, so now I can install the trinium mining turret. Only one, because I don't have two. The double titanium mining turrets... They're good turrets, but not really in this region. This double trinium R mining turret, however, is very useful. And we have another trinium R mining turret here. Another trinium R salvaging turret. That's something that the vulture could use. And the rest of it is not really that fascinating. It's a bunch of poor turrets. So this one, yes. Triple plasma turret, no. Double repair turret, yes. I'll hold on to that one. Plasma turret, no. Double laser, no. Double cannon, no. And another plasma turret. All right. Um, where did I spot that big roid? Here's one. Not sure if that's the one that I found. I might be in the wrong sector, though. Yeah, I think I'm in the wrong sector. It might be in the same sector as the mine. Also, I have a self-defense weapon on this. What is that? Triple chain gun and a double laser turret. Right. Titanium. <laughs> My own mine is now offering missions. Uh, it's <laughs> it's asking me to free slaves. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Because that would just increase the reputation with, well, my own faction, I think. Which is a contradiction. Where was that big roid? I did find a really big trinium roid. I want to see what the performance is of the venture now. Yeah, this is just 4,000 trinium. There we go, that mines pretty smoothly. Pretty smoothly indeed. That's 2,000 trinium ore right there. And that... Is that Zanian? Or Neonite? Zanian. I don't think I'll be able to mine all of it. At least not with the salvaging R. Oh, crap. Pirates are attacking. That's not what I want. How dangerous are these pirate ships? Because it means I might need to go after them with the Venture. And that is a ship that is not designed for conflict. They don't have any shielding. Alright, they do have torpedoes. That one does. And they're going after my mine. Come on, guys. I just built that. Take this thing out. Oh, crap. I don't have the weapon set up properly. One, one, one. Oh, no. I hope I can sustain hits for a while. And yes, I could tell the provinces to come over here, but it's going to take a while before she gets here. Because she's all the way over there. Um, this thing has 28,000 shields. Almost no firepower. Oh, this is not good. At least that mine can survive for a while. It has a lot of shielding. Way more than this ship does. Let's try to get rid of the engines on this one. Ooh. Let's see if I can take a screenshot of this as I'm fighting. Come on. Get those guns on target. So 
So I am definitely going to need a defense force for this sector. Either in the form of turrets on the mine. Or in the form of having a ship that just patrols this sector. Or fighters. Or turrets or whatever. Whoa. Don't slam into it. I might have shielding, but that won't save me here. What sort of guns am I sporting on this? Double laser turrets. This thing does way more damage. Uh, middle snap, global snap. I need to be building that on a block of trinium or better. Yes, of course. Trinium gen. Let's go for a trinium crew quarters. Then I can actually get my plasma turret on here. This is the Nayanite R mining turret. I don't mind having that, but I'll put it somewhere else. Uh, which one was that? This one? This one. No, that's the R salvaging. R mining. Here. Put that over... Fine. Over here. And I'll also need the Tesla turret. There. All right, weapon slots. Two, two, triple chain gun. Jesus, that has no DPS at all. Where is that? Here. I can still fit two turrets. This thing is dreadful with just 50 DPS, so maybe the double cannon turret is going to be better. And it must be built on Neonite or better. This is a generator. Upgrade that. Not enough slots. Let me guess. You need three slots. Yeah, you do. Uh, fortunately, I still have some open areas here, so... Let's install that. And I know that I'm asking the venture to do stuff that it was really not designed to do. So it's a pretty risky, well, a risky venture, I suppose you could call it. Let's set the point defense laser. Oh, crap. I don't have enough crew members for that. No, not if I auto assign them. That'll be fine. All right. This one's separate slot. Uh, slot 3. Defense. Turret, save me. Torpedo somewhere else. This guy thinks he's getting away. He has something else coming. Unfortunately, I'm too far. Need to run closer. Go get him. He is really, really quite good at getting away. Turret. Those cannon shells really hurt this guy. Destroyed. Slam into it. I did pick up some interesting turrets that the ship might be able to use once it's done fighting. Let's see, what did I get? Neonite R mining turret. Um, meh. It's alright. Chain gun turret. And a double trinium R mining turret. This one's quite good. This one, not so much. Alright. Back to the mission at hand. Defending my own mine, which is still halfway through its shielding. I need to get there quick. 2400 meters per second. 35 clicks out. 30. 25. This one has no shielding. It's only the other one that has shielding. There we go. It sold some aluminum for 57,000. So this is a, a brave trader over here. This guy. Because he went into a factory that got attacked by pirates as it was being attacked. Come here. Good hit with cannon. Ship destroyed. Last man standing, right there. Let's 
Try to veer around. Tesla turret should make short work of their shields. And then the cannon can rip apart the hull. That is, if the cannon can get a shot off. Which I'm thinking it can't because of the positioning on the ship. So what I can do is put that over here. Just look at the size difference on those things. My god. This is the point defense laser turret. This is the cannon turret. Yeah, we're definitely taking this thing apart. Ship is absolutely not designed to do this. But performing quite well, thanks to the shields. Come on, wreck it. Need to get the cannon turret a shot. There we go. Reputation increased by seven or six and a half thousand. And I got another good turret out of that. Uh, which turret though? Double Neonite R mining turret. Perfect timing. Because now that everybody's gone, I can install the mining turrets. So especially this one, the double trinium. Oh, must be placed out of trinium or better. Fine. Can I upgrade the whole ship to trinium? No. I need 52,000. Not enough slots for civil turrets. Um, what can I get away from the ship? Neonite. You're gone. I want to get to Zanian, so ideally I would only have Trinium turrets on the ship. So Trinium are better. This is another Neonite. Already mounted or classed as trash. Double Neonite R. In that case, these things are still better. 15 and 75 for 20.5 and 89. So far better. This one, not so much. Last one, not so much. Fine, I'll go with one turret if I have the room for it. There. Okay. Um, set those up as weapon categories. One and one. Turn two off. And there we go. Mine some sweet, sweet trinium here. It's quite a bit. But of course, this is not what I need to be doing myself. This is what the venture can now perfectly execute all by itself. How's the mine? The mine is almost fully reshielded. Excellent. All right. So switch over to the... Ven no, not the venture. I'm at the venture. There are seven provinces. All right, venture. I want you to start mining. So mine here, then go there, get it refined, get back there, and loop. That should keep the venture entertained for a while. How much do I have on my ship? Oh, basically nothing. All right, good. Means we can start traveling north to that sector. Ah. Alumin aluminum mine sold another for 42,000. See, we're now getting a, a trickle of cash coming in. Okay. What sort of uh, willing victims do we have here? Or maybe not so willing victims. I am looking for a freighter. I don't have any here, which is surprising because it's not really a sector that I've actively turned into a wasteland just yet. So there should be a freighter coming in pretty soon. Now, one trick that I've found works really quite well is engaging a destroyer, uh, wounding the destroyer so much that it's no longer a threat, and just taking off all of its engines so you're leaving a thruster dead in space 
and let me do that. By doing that, you're not actively killing it off. You're just making sure that it cannot come after you anymore. Let's see, if I only want to... Oh, I only have Tesla turrets. And a double, exo a double bolter. I want you to be slot two. All right, so slot one off, slot two active. Where are your engines? Back here, right? Engine one destroyed, two. Don't worry, I'm just picking off these engines. Two, three, four. Engines destroyed. There's one more. And another one. It can still sort of move. Oh. Hold on. I think we're getting a bit of a glitch here. Because the one model shows that they're there. The other model shows that they're not there. I think the destroyer is no longer an active threat. So let's give this one the same treatment. By not actually completely blowing up the destroyer, I'm making sure that the sector does not get turned into a civilian hazard zone. And that's important. Because once you turn it into a civilian hazard zone, the freighters stop coming. But when I have two, uh, well, dead in space destroyers, like this one here, I can just safely ignore it. And they're just going to have to sit there. See? It cannot move. Stop firing. I don't want it destroyed. This one cannot move. It's just going to sit there. It might be able to turn around, but it can't go anywhere. And now I can... Let's see, this one... Nope, it's not moving. So now I can go after this loader, which looks to be docking at the equipment dock. Maybe we can motivate this guy to uh, share some of his cargo. Preferably all of it. Excuse me. Oh, I just got into weapons range of that guy. Hello, Mr. Freighter. Give me all your cargo. Oh, this is one of those brave dudes. He'll be out of here before you even get to us. N no, you won't. Anything good? Stolen ammunition. Ammunition is not very valuable, but at least I'm getting some of it. Uh, let's just completely wreck the ship. There's a whole bunch more still in ammunition. Let's see, how much do I have total? 206. Selling price is 422. Um, yeah, I probably won't get rich off of that. Oh, a salesman. Salesmen usually have quite a bit on board. High capacity lenses. Hey, you. Drop that. Oh, this one's running as well. Ah. Close. But now it is a hazard zone. And now all the cruisers have spawned in. Lovely. Alright, you there. I have 200 seconds before I actually get recharged. Is that a research station? No, military outpost. Hmm. By the way, was I shooting up destroyers or cruisers? I was shooting up cruisers earlier. Hello, what are you carrying? I need to be within one click to see that. Get over here. Nothing. You're wasting my time. Speaking of, so is this guy. Again, I might not kill it. I might just uh, wound it severely so that it doesn't chase me around anymore. Although, this one is pretty easy to destroy. Things lagging a bit. There you go. Cruiser destroyed. Uh, there was another loader around here somewhere. Mobile resource merchant. Oh, what do you have? I don't think I'll be trading with him. At least not in the way that he expects to trade. It's going to be a different way of doing business.
Shielding, 90,000. Can I tell him to drop his cargo? No. Crap. Anything else? There's another loader here. Is that the same one that I already tried? Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Okay, then. 117,000 shields on this guy, but they'll go quick, thanks to the Tesla turrets. And I'm still not going anywhere for the next 80 seconds. So let's just break this thing down. Maybe get some useful upgrades from it. Knock down the engines. Structural integrity is dropping quickly. 24, 23, 22, 18, 12, 6, dead. Thank you kindly for your donation. I'll be out of your hair for now. Alright, anybody else? Among these cruisers are also the ones that are probably left on low health. Yeah, here's one. And here's the other one. So it might look a little worse than it actually is, as far as fire spire is concerned. This... Well, this is the closest, but this one's coming in in a hurry. Firepower, 2.6 Omicron. Shielding, 123. That's quite a bit. I mean, it still pales in comparison to my 500,000, but it's something I need to take with a, a bit more caution. Especially as these guys continue to gang up on me. There goes your shielding. Time to whack the engines off. Make sure it can't stop. and uh, Or well, that it, it has to stop and can't keep running. Engine, engine, engine. You're dead in the water. And now you're dead in space. Next. 318 shields. Whoops. 128. I'll take you out. He doesn't have a lot of firepower, though. This one... This one's actually a bigger risk. More firepower. Tesla turret's working away on the shield. Shielding down to 66,000, so that's half. Down to 40%. 35. I have to pay attention to my own shielding in a minute. But if I just zip around the sector a bit, let my shields recharge and keep out of range, I should be able to take out the entire security force. Let's try and get that done. Because I think there will always, in a sector as important as this, there will always continue to be new loaders. Come on. Quick. I'm losing shields. Bingo. Hoover it up and hop away. Any merchants? No. Oh, the headhunters are here, though. Great. Um, let's check out this sector. Anything good? Point defense laser, double point defense laser, some upgrades that I might be able to research, although the internal defense systems I never use. It's in case you get boarded, but I've never seen the AI actually board anybody. Yeah, I just have to stay out of range of these guys. Here come the headhunters. Ah. Aluminum mine, still another 200 aluminum for 49,000. It's going to take a while for that aluminum mine to actually break even. But uh, it's going to be around for a long, long, long time. So I don't mind it. I invested 12 million in that, plus change, because I still had to build the factory on top of it. The cargo bay and stuff like that. Ah, there's no loaders. Shit. 
Shields are coming back online. How many ships am I actually fighting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gotcha. Oh, missile incoming. Port side defense turret opening up. Turret ran out of fuel. No, not the turret, the torpedo. Here comes another one. Two. Ow. That's your handiwork, isn't it? 53,000 shielding. You should have come better prepared. If you want to take me down, you're going to need a bit more than that. Don't go head hunting if you don't have the equipment for it, buddy. One less. This one has 310. But this is, once again, one of those cruisers from the defense. It's not a headhunter. Still, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. It's just going to take a while to get through that shielding. It's time I might not have. I think this might, however, be one of their most powerful ships. with 5.2 Omicron. 5.2K. Shields are at 65. He is also pretty zippy. 1500 meters per second. Fifty four percent shields, halfway there. Loads and loads of seeker missiles are being are, are pursuing the target now. Keep welding it down. See this is by the way why I don't use fighters. They're not fast enough. Chasing it down at a thousand meters per second, it's just not enough. A fighter can only do 600 something if they can even manage that. Damn torpedoes. Um, I need to recharge my shield, but I also need to get rid of a couple of lighter ships because it's too much firepower. The blocker frigate usually has almost no firepower, so it's just a nuisance. This thing has 588. Only 80,000 shields, though, so I'll probably be through him pretty damn fast. It's another, let's say, light cruiser. There we go. Shielding are almost down. Shields are down. Hull next. All decreasing, 30%, 25. Come on, get rid of it. There we go, ship destroyed. Next. There's the blocker frigate. Where's the cruiser that I bashed up previous? There. Nah, shields are already recharging. Way too fast for me to keep up with. I'm going to have to pick these guys off in a sort of hit and run fashion. Hit one, knock it down, run, let the shields recharge, rinse and repeat. How am I for resources? Not great. What are my ships doing? See, the Venture has a bunch of stuff on. Loads of Neonite, loads of Trinium, even Xanian. The Vulture is mining all sorts of stuff. Mostly the... Oh, it's... It's not doing anything, actually. So the vulture needs to get put back to work. Well, there is a <laughs> quite a bit over here that needs salvaging uh, in their sector. Mostly their destroyers. Oh, sorry, the, no, the, not the destroyers. The cruisers, the ones that have been blowing up. But it's pretty risky bringing in the vulture. It's not really a frontline unit. What I'm worried about is that those cruisers and headhunters are going to just go right for the vulture and blow it to pieces. Looks like this gentleman over here has uh, great plans for the seven provinces. Do 
29 clicks out, 28, 27, 26. How much shielding do you have? Something or someone has already done a bit of damage to the hull. My shields are about 70% through. Yep. <laughs> My sea was just trying to take out a factory. Of course. You might need to load more than one sea whiz. More torpedoes on the way. This one has a decent amount of shielding in the form of about 120, 130. So I hope to take this thing down. Again, hit and run. Take it down, break it up. Uh, not so much just kill its engines like I have been doing with previous ships. Completely destroy it. Leave it as salvage. And maybe in the next episode, I can bring in the Vulture and start to salvage this area. Pirates are attacking the sector? These guys really cannot catch a break. He's trying to get away. I don't intend to let him. Stay with him. Come on. There you go. Shields are down. Now that bolter turret is going to go through that ship very fast. If it hits. Because my Tesla pretty much doesn't do anything against that. That bolter turret sure as hell does. Destroyed. Ah, this is my very heavily shielded friend. This is not. It's a bandit. It's a pirate. Don't get in my way. Maybe... Some of their ships are now going to get distracted. Some of the cruisers which were initially after me. They might instead pick a fight with the pirates now. Who knows. Come on. I don't want to slide into this station here. This is one of the headhunters. He's going to keep pursuing me as long as I'm in this sector. I don't think he's going to fight with pirates. He'll fire back at them if he gets attacked. But I think that's about it. And... Gotcha. Spoke too soon. 8.2% left. Nail it. Gotcha. All right, um, time to go for a run, I think, because I'm once again losing out on quite a bit of shielding. Let's get this thing destroyed, the hyperblocker frigate. Got him. And boost. Is it just two cruisers after me now? Three. Because this one's dead in the water. Yeah, there's still a bunch of cruisers. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks to me like the pirates... I actually helped defeating the pirates, by the way. And I got paid for that. By the faction that I am currently pirating of. Oh, well. Uh, I'm happy to help out. <laughs> of sorts. By killing that one pirate ship that happened to get in my way. As for new upgrades, I got a double launcher. Not great. Another mining system, another internal weapon system. Uh, what is this? Triple plasma? No, it's bad. Nayanite R mining? Nope. Double bolter? Nope. Double cannon? Double chain gun? Please. I was just inspecting my loot. There's no reason for you to get involved. <laughs> the reputation gain that I just got is immediately negated because I'm attacking one of their cruisers. And winning. Severely winning. 
I mean, it's a valiant effort by these little AI ships, but no. It's just not going to work out. Once I get this guy, though, it's time for me to run again. Come on. Gotcha. Now my shield's really quite low. What's that, 15? 10% even. Yikes. Right, I think this fight's going to last for quite a while. Um, in the next episode, I hope to have the sector, the sector cleared and that the vulture can just start, well, doing what it does best. Eating ships up and spitting out the turrets that they might have been carrying. But that's for future episodes for now. I hope you enjoyed the uh, building of the mine. It's going to just get me a bit more money over time. Uh, right now at 5.1. Which means that in the next episode I'll probably set up the metal plate factory and start to uh, get a bit more money being made that way. But they tend to have a bit more startup costs because factories, unlike mines, usually require resources. And it's, well, it's going to cost a bit of cash just to get that done. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys soon for the next episode of Avorian.